Hey guys, let's update the clay console and recreate the game Crossy Road. Play, play. We start by deconstructing the Mario version, which we built into the clay console. I still want to play this in the future. I discovered the game Crossy Road during the Christmas vacations. I played it and, well, I was looking for some new funny games which you can just play in between your main games. And so I found it, played it and it was hilarious. Reminded me of uh, Frog. Um, of course, it's a remake of this game where you try to survive with a frog hopping over the street. Now it's called Crossy Road and I just loved it. And here we are creating it. I'm changing some of the techniques of the clay console. Um, I'm adding a layer where all the roads will flow over and can roll over. For orientation, I am marking the cardboard with these lines. Um, it makes a lot more sense later on. You will see why I'm doing this. I gave my whole clay version of Crossy Road a 5mm grid which makes it so much easier when to decide how big all the different items gonna be. For the roads itself, there need to be space for two cars right next to each other, so it's one centimeter for these gray <coughs> cardboard stripes, sorry. And we are creating these paper loops, look at that, works so smooth. Um, maybe some more words about the technique behind. We have two engines included, one rolling to the right side, the other one to the left. And once everything is completed, you see that two stripes are going in the opposite direction. So that we can really create the illusion of traffic in the game. Um, and we also have the river. Not really sure if you have noticed with the floating tree trunks. Let's now work on the grass. So this is the base layer which is not moving and which gives us um, some space to rest um, for the characters before hopping onto the street. So green is the safe zone. You won't be hit by a car or by a truck. You can rest and we put it into the oven. Meanwhile, let's work on the trunks and all the trees which we have got. They don't really have a purpose in the game. Well, they block you. So um, sometimes it's quite annoying because you just can't hop over the street in a straight line. It's some obstacles trees. Now I'm really excited about this working step because we start the car mass production. Very very tiny cars and we have five different kinds of vehicles in the game. I start with the cabs, the taxi version of the game. Um, most of the cars are created with clay, but we will do some painting magic after oven hardening. We have the green longer cars, red, I call them the regular cars, and the blue very tiny ones. And last but not least, we have some trucks. Uh, blue trucks and red trucks. And right now I'm preparing the cargo area of the trucks. There is a very thin layer of grey clay underneath because it creates this illusion that the trucks aren't right on top of the street, but somehow hovering. 
over them, well, using their wheels. <laughs> After oven hardening, we will paint the same grid onto our clay pieces. Um, my first intuition was to use cardboard as the grass or for the grass areas, but then I really liked the idea of um, yeah, staying true to the motto of the clay console, creating these elements with clay as well, and not only the cars. So here we have some rocks, the trunks and the trees, which we now all have to assemble. And um, yeah, they have some lines uh, painted onto the trees, which also look really, really beautiful and also match the stripes on the ground, on the grass. And with the super glue, we can now assemble them. And I honestly can't wait to see how this miniature landscape um, is being assembled. There is something magical about tiny trees with a blue cardboard and now being placed on the grass. Yeah, I'm so curious to hear. Um, I created, I posted the, the community post and many of you recognized the game. Now I'm so curious to hear how many of you have played Crossy Road before. Uh, maybe you also have made a Christmas vacation discovery for yourself, new games which you um, have been playing. So please let me know, leave it down in the comments. I start with one vehicle of each kind to find a good way to paint them. So it's like a tiny trial. <laughs> the wheels and also some metallic part, which should shine really, really beautiful as reflection. We have the tiny blue car. I think it's my favorite. Then the green van, the yellow cap and the trucks. Okay, I'm maybe adding another outline. Yeah. It creates just the illusion that the cars are using their wheels. I hope you get my idea behind these grey stripes. And now mass production, mass painting and also adding the lights for each car. So we have a total of 50 cars. <laughs> um, I calculated the space, the distance between all the different cars to make it challenging to play with and then calculated it by um, well putting the length of the paper loops um, in account hit the bell subscribe i'm still curious to read your gaming discoveries um, they may be unusual uh, they may be surprising. I'm curious to read them and maybe one day we also make a clay version out of that. Now we are placing all the beautiful landscape pieces and look at that! Now with the stripes on the road, it... Oh. Honestly, I have no words for that. Look at that. It, it looks so gorgeous. And the river is floating. You can't really see it, of course. There is no element on the river yet. <laughs> this was the first car, the first truck running on our clay console. And now we are placing all the beautiful cars. I created nearly half of them going to the left side and the other cars are going to the right side so to be honest I didn't really paint the the back side of the cars but don't tell anyone please <laughs> yeah I think one of the paper loops isn't really running so smoothly as expected uh, but let's first place all the cars uh, okay now I think we've got it 
the paper loops are running smoothly over the wheels, the Lego Technique wheels and the trunks. This is the last working step. We need a protagonist, we need a character, we need an animal um, to kill. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, no animals are harmed in my videos. I just want to create the chicken. The very first character which you play uh, when you start Crossy Road. There are so many other ones. I think we have the llama and the dog as the first characters. But I've seen an alien and I really hope to get a frog one day. Not really sure if a frog is included just to celebrate the original game, Frog. Was it called Frog? I can't remember. Okay, we are painting the eyes. And then, guys, let's play Crossy Road! Welcome to the very first round of Crossy Road on our clay console. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm a little shy. Now, move. What have you done? Next time. <laughs> Maybe we have a little more luck this time. Or not. <laughs> okay, I've a good feeling that this time we're going to achieve it. But the cars are slowing down. Not really sure why their technique is not working. But, um, yeah, we can cross the river this time. And now... No! Okay, but this time. Crossy road. Let's start again with the chicken, our favorite character. It can't wait to cross the road. Yeah, it's looking good. Now, hopping onto a trunk. But they're moving so fast. Okay. <laughs> Crossy road. We're hopping over the street. The river. We 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 <laughs> we survived the river. Now the next street, the car stopped somehow. Our luck, I guess. And yeah, we did it. Now it's three times the speed. Look at that. Maybe we make it even six times the speed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really looking forward to see you next time. Take good care. Bye.